there are many uses of Jacobian determinant. In this video, I will explain to you how to construct a Jacobian determinant, which is an application of, a, of the partial derivative. Let's take an example here. Uh, the first function y1 is equal to 2x1 plus 3x2. y2 is 4x1 squared plus 12x1 x2 and 9x2 squared. Uh, to test the linear dependency between this uh, system of equation, we use Jacobian determinant. And how to form this Jacobian determinant? First, we get all the four partial derivative. So we get, we, we, since uh, the system equation is y is a function of x1 and x2, this we find first do y1 over do x1 equals to 2. And then do y1 over do x2 equals to 3. Uh, and we find do y2 over do x1 equals to ax1 plus 12x2. And do y2 over do x2 is just 12x1 plus 18x2. Now, the next step is we arrange them into a square matrix, which is called as a Jacobian matrix. This is the Jacobian matrix, and we try to find the determinant of the Jacobian matrix because we want to find the linear dependency between the system equation. Finding the determinant, we, we get 24x1 minus 36x2 plus Oh, this should be plus, yeah, minus 24x1 plus 36x2. Here we see that it cancels out each other, so the Jacobian determinant is equal to zero. Based on what we find here, it turns out that they are linearly dependent. From the previous example, you have seen how we construct Jacobian determinant by taking the first partial derivative of a system equation and use the Jacobian determinant to test whether the function in a system equation has a linearly dependency or not. More general, if we have n function with n variable as follow and we take the first partial derivative from each of the functions from the system of equation and arrange it as a matrix, we have the Jacobian matrix. In general, the Jacobian matrix can be expressed in a short form as follow. Or more specific, it has the following form, form where the first row is the partial derivative of the first equation. The second row is the partial derivative of the second equation, and so on until uh, the nth row, which contains the partial derivative of the nth equation. If the Jacobian determinant is equal to zero, then the system equation has linear dependency. But if the Jacobian determinant is not equal to zero, then the system of equation is linearly independent. 